Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're looking at creating an outlining brush in Procreate. But before I start the video, let me tell you where you can find additional Procreate training. I have hundreds of classes at Skillshare and there's a coupon in the description below which includes an offer at least as good as the current Skillshare offer and generally mine is better. If you sign up for Skillshare, you get access to thousands of classes there, including over 200 of mine. These include classes on Photoshop Illustrator, Lightroom, and of course, Procreate. Let's swing back to Procreate now. So I'm at the main screen. I'm gonna tap the plus sign and create a new square document. That's pretty important because brushes need to be square documents. I'm also using a document that's 2048 by 2048 so that I'm using the maximum size that you can use for a brush. I'm going to go and get a black color. If you're not 100% sure if your color is black, you can always check in the value area. It should have zero as its R, G and B values. Now let's just check which brush I'm using. I'm going to my inking brushes. I have a mono line brush with streamline. Basically you want something that you can draw a circle with. So draw a rough approximation of a circle and leave your pencil on the screen so that you get access to this edit shape option and you want to select circle. I'm going to adjust my circle so it's pretty much in the middle of the screen and then drag and drop the black color into the circle, making sure that as I do, I leave my pencil on the screen so I can adjust this color drop threshold. I want to adjust it quite high so I make sure that there are no areas missing color inside the pen line on this brush or on this circle. And I'm going to make a duplicate of this shape. I'm going to turn the duplicate off and we're just going to focus on the one below. Now we need to fill this with gray, which we can do one of two ways. Either we can go and get a gray color or we could just dial down the opacity on this layer. I'm actually going to go and get a gray color. So I have a series of grays here. I think this is about a good gray to use. So I'm just going to drag and drop it into my shape. Now, if I think that's too much of a gray, I can go and adjust it down by either selecting a lighter gray or I can come into the value area and just adjust the numbers on this. So a good gray would be something like about 230, 230, 230, something like that. You want to make sure that the numbers are pretty much the same because that is a gray color. So I'll just drag that in. Now I've got my spare circle on top, so I'm going to make it visible. Go to the transform tool, make sure I have uniform and magnetic selected. And I'm just going to adjust the size of the middle circle. This one is going to mark out just how thick the brush is relative to how thick the outline is. So it's the difference between the two. The light gray area is going to be your outline. The dark area is going to be your brush. I just want to adjust that so it's pretty central. If you're happy with that, go to the Spanner tool, tap Add, and choose Copy Canvas. And now we can make our brush by tapping on the Brush tool. I'm going to add this to Helen's favorite. I'll just tap the plus sign. For the shape source, I'm just going to press and hold with my pen or with my finger until I get the paste option. And I'll just tap paste to paste that circle or the two circles in. For the grain source, I'm going to swap from Pro Library and just choose blank. On my screen, that's black. On your screen, that might be white, depending on what interface you're using in Procreate. Now we need to go back to source and I need to invert this shape because I need a white center and I need to practically not be able to see the gray outside at all. So I'm going to stroke. I'm going to set the spacing down to zero so there's no space on this brush at all. And I'm going to Dynamics and I'm going to select Glazed. And when you do that, you should see the outline around the brush so you can determine whether your outline is thick enough or not. Now, I think mine's not thick enough, so I'm just going to adjust the size of my inner circle. Go back and take another copy of the canvas. I've already set up the brush, so all I need to do is to go to Source and just replace the source. So I'm just going to paste in my new source. And I like that sort of dimension a bit better for my brush. I think it's worthwhile at this stage just turning off the layers for those circles, just in case you don't like what you've got. You've still got the circles that you can sort of mess around with and create a better shape. So don't discard them until you're happy with your brush. I'm just going to get a color to use. 
and I can adjust my brush size and just test out the brush. Now the brush doesn't have a very dark edge to it, but depending on what you want to do with the brush, that may or may not be a problem. If it is a problem and you want a darker edge because you want that two layer sort of look, let's just go back and make this a different gray. So this time I'm going for about 191, 191, 191. Make sure that I've got that layer selected. Drop the color in. Just go back and copy the canvas. Go back to the brush, go back to the source and just paste in our new source. And now we can test that. And that makes the outside edge a little bit more obvious. Now, you may want to turn Streamline on for this brush. So go to Stroke and make sure that you add Streamline because then it's going to write a little bit better. Now I've got a jump in this brush and that's because my pencil is jumping on my screen right now. I need to replace the screen protector on my screen because it's got some sort of bumps in it that have happened over time. Now having created this brush and having drawn with it you can separate out the elements that are in this shape so you can separate out the dark green and the light green here's how you'll do that you'll go to the selection tool and you're going to tap on automatic and then you're going to tap on the area that you want to split away and the easiest area to get is probably the darker inside so I have that selected now I'm going to the layers palette and there's a couple of things that I could do at this point. One is I could add a brand new layer and because I have a selection made, I could actually fill that green area that I have already selected with the green color or with another color. So let's just go and get a different color green. I've got the empty layer selected. I'm just going to tap on fill layer and the green is only going to go in the selected area. Now I can go back and reselect that green, go back to my original piece of text and just clear that area. So that's effectively splitting this into two. So I've got the outline and I've got the actual green fill and they're separate so they can be dealt with separately. They can be enhanced separately. So that's a way of creating a self-outlining brush in Procreate that you can use to draw as well as to write text. I hope this has been of help to you. You've understood a little bit more about creating brushes in Procreate. If you did enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you'll be alerted when new videos are released. Until next time, I'm Helen Bradley. Thank you so much for joining me here on my YouTube channel.